Uh, the decision to allow travel between New Zealand and Queensland is fantastic news uh, for Queensland, for the Queensland economy, for our tourism industry and for everyone who is employed in it. Uh, coming off the back of that bumper uh, Easter, welcoming New Zealanders back uh, to Queensland will allow our tourism industry to continue to recover. You know, before COVID hit, we welcomed 480,000 New Zealanders to our state each and every year, contributing $600 million to our economy. That means that they were our second biggest tourism market uh, back when they could go anywhere in the world. There will be a period of time here where Queensland is one of the few places that they can visit. And so uh, we certainly, uh, certainly welcome them. We look forward, we're looking forward very much uh, to seeing them here. 38% uh, of New Zealand born Australians live in Queensland and I know many of them have been missing their family and their friends and this will be a chance for them to reunite and see each other and I'm sure uh, lots of people will be very, very happy to hear that. I finally just wanted to note the remarks from the European Union this morning. I think it's quite extraordinary. I can't recall a time before where a world leader has sought to clarify remarks made by an Australian Prime Minister. And I think uh, it just underlines what the Premier and the Health Minister have been saying, how we need open, honest, transparent communication around this vaccine rollout and particularly around the supply issues.